Assalamu alaikum, dear members of Alabat Academy. If you see the last lesson, we learned the how to write intro introduction and oral sentence. If you learn perfectly, we will practice with them writing the introduction and oral sentence in three sentences. Before writing an essay, giving you an exam, first of all, you should pay attention to the task of the chart. If you look at the screen, you can see the task. The graph below shows the percentage of part-time workers in each country of the United Kingdom in 1980 and 2010. This graph describes the proportion of the workers who have part-time job in England, Northern Ireland, Scotland, and Wales, which make up United Kingdom, and the two given years. The first of uh, one of them is 1980, and the next one 2010. First of all, in order to write the first sentence, we should paraphrase the given task. Therefore, to, to do paraphrase, you, can, you may change the verb into noun or vice versa, or you can change the adverb into adjective or vice versa. First of all, we paraphrase the graph below shows. The graph below is prefaced like this. You may use the given chart or the given bar graph or the bar chart. We will write the bar chart. The part of the graph below is prefaced the bar chart. And the next word shows is prefaced presents, gives inf information on the proportion of life, and, and so on. The part chart gives an information, information on what about the percentage of part-time workers. The percentage is changed proportion on the proportion. proportion of part-time workers as a noun phrase. This noun phrase has changed into another noun phrase includes relative clauses. That's workers. I, cha I will change into people and after this we will use relative clues appropriate for the people who part-time is explained like this. Who have part-time jobs. After this, in each country of the United Kingdom is paraphrased. To do this, I will in each country of the United Kingdom into in the country set makes that make up the United Kingdom. Since United Kingdom, you know, consists of four parts England, Northern Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. And we will write in the countries that make up United Kingdom as a right way. In order to explain the given years, we may use from to, between and, and other phrases or of the given years. And no, of the given years is, is not used the 
paraphrased sentence. Therefore, it's advisable for you to use between it. Between in 1980 and in 2010. If you remember, last lesson I said you, in order to write the next sentence, you should pay attention to the information given bar chart. All of the information is included in the next sentence. Therefore, we pay we will pay attention to the given data. If you see the bar chart, you can see in 1980 the part-time workers per percentage was 25 and the next given years it increased to about 30 percent the percentage of workers increased in england increased in scotland increased in wales except northern ireland since the proportion of workers decreased northern ireland from 50, 50 or 16% to 14%. All of these spoken information are explained in the next sentence. That's the first sentence of overall part. We will write like this the second sentence. Don't remember this. While writing overall part, you you should not you should not use the percentage and the years. And no, the percentage is never used in overall part. For example. For example, the per percentage of the workers was 25% in England in 1980. Writing like this is prohibited in overall part. Only you must explain the overall, the general information. There has generally been a small increase since the workers percentage increased in all of the given countries except Northern Ireland increase in part-time workers from from to is the next phrase explaining the time from 1980 and 2010. In order to write this three sentence, in order to write this three sentence, we pay attention to the highest level and the last level. If you look at the bar chart, you can see in England and in Wales the percentage of part-time workers are high and the next given countries Northern Ireland and Scotland the Percentage of part-time workers is low. This information is ex explained while writing the while writing three sentence. Third sentence. In the time I will write like this the graph also shows that 
England and Wales have far more part-time workers than Northern Ireland and Scotland. Northern Ireland and Scotland. Our lesson finishes at the time. Now it's advisable, it's preferable for you to write and I to write an essay describing the chart. You must learn the phrase, the phrases, and the words. Use it in IELTS writing task one. Since IELTS writing task one demands you the exact information and the factual information. Therefore, without learning phrases and words used in IELTS writing task one, you can't achieve your goals. Apart from this, in order to write an essay perfectly, first of all, you should analyze the essay written by IELTS examiner and the phrases necessary and the words use it in this essay written by as examiner is learned by heart by you after this after this when you when you practice with them writing an essay you can achieve your aims and you can write an, write an essay in IELTS writing task one perfectly. If you like this video lesson, don't remember subscribing our channel. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye. See you next time.